Hi, today I've got Amazing Grace for you. I've done three versions on my website. As usual, you can get the PDF downloads for free. Just hop across to beginnercbg.com. The first one is just the melody with the chords. The second version is the chord melody. And then for the third version, I've tried to actually put on the strumming pattern. It does make it look a little bit messy and a bit complicated. So I'd really be grateful if you could tell me if it's useful to have that or if it's just not really worth doing it. It did take quite a long time to get all those up and down arrows in the right place and get the timings of the strummings up and down. So let me know anyway. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy it. I have got a couple of tips that I want to tell you today about playing this song. I've found a really easy way of playing a C chord. It actually hasn't got the C in it, but because it's got the E and the G, it kind of sounds right. I'm tuned G, D, G, and this is an open G chord. And then the C chord, I'm just playing with that middle string on the second fret. It's just a very simple thing, but it kind of works. And I'm playing the simple D chord, which is the second fret on the outer two strings. So this is the G. C and D and G. Let's try that again. I'm also playing a different chord right at the end. I'm playing like a C seventh. So instead of having all my fingers across the fifth fret, which is a C chord, I'm dropping that top C down one. It just sounds quite nice, I think. I do find when I'm playing these lesson videos that I really stress out about playing it in strict time and keeping exactly to the music. And actually it makes me sound a bit stiff when I'm playing. So I'm just going to actually relax a bit and I hope you'll forgive me if it's not exactly as it's written. Thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. See you next time.